Linus Tech Tips coverage of PAX 2013 is brought to you by Western Digital, Intel, and SteelSeries. We're here at the BYOC sort of adjoined Intel booth at PAX Prime with Justin Whitney, who's one of their team members when it comes to SSD marketing. And you guys are talking about something that actually, for my regular viewers, I said was crazy, like 24 hours ago. Justify this to me, explain what this is. Come on, man. Um, to, to be really honest, I thought it was a little crazy too. Um, so. What we're talking about is uh, we've got a prototype drive here, first time shown ever. We wanted to we wanted to come to PAX, talk to the press, and more importantly, get end user reaction to this technology. We had a couple of customers that approached us and said, you know, SATA bus is starting to get saturated. The technology is it stagnating a little bit. We're looking ahead to PCI Express before you even get there. Can you do any overclocking of your drives? How can you tune the performance? And you know, our, my initial reaction was, you guys are insane. Why, why would you adjust the performance settings and maybe risk people's data? And they're like, why does it have to be risky? So I mean, we, we took that customer feedback, started making this kind of Skunk Works project um, in our labs. Like, wow, well, it, it can be stable. Let's go show it off and see what end users' reactions are. So show me the tool uh, right here. This is a beta beta feature within the Intel Extreme tuning utility called SSD. What can you do to the drive to tweak performance? There's there's really two settings in here. We're looking at the the, the controller itself or the, the the ASIC. It's essentially the CPU of the of the drive, and we're also looking at the NAND um, bus itself and the frequency on that bus. So we've got those two knobs, in. In the first instance, we can go from 400 megahertz to about six, 600, 625. I'm sorry, did you just say that? Like that's a 50% plus overclock. Yeah, that's a yeah, exactly on the on the controller for that drive. Okay, and then so for the uh, the NAND bus frequency, what are, what are we looking at here? 80. The the stock on it is 83 megahertz, and that goes up to 100. Okay, so you guys are taking a lot of user feedback. You're segmenting people out into kind of like pro gamers versus modders versus, you know, even data center and IT guys who are here at the show. What surprised you most about the feedback you're getting? I, well, I had to pick myself up off of the floor here in our booth when I found out that we had three data center guys that had just gone through this, this little clinic we were doing. As, and I asked them, would you overclock the drive after what you saw? Would you do it? And they're like, oh, yeah, we would do it right now. And I was like, why would you possibly put your data at risk or other people's data at risk? And they're like, there is no risk for us. We're going to validate the technology. We're going to stress test it. We're going to look at the, the life of the drive. And then we're going to put it in a cache array. All the data is safe behind that. Here's our cache. We'll overclock that, get our, our performance tuned, jack up the, the IOPS, you know, the random IOPS on those drives, and you know, just roll with it. Okay, so then the less surprising one, I guess, is the, the enthusiast gamers, and I mean, what have they been saying so far? So far, they're like, if there's a knob, we want to turn it. Please don't limit it, let us push it till it breaks, and I was like, whoa, wait, that's your, that's your storage drive, why would... Do you want OS on there and, and brick it? And they're like, well, I can always, you know, I would, I would test it out. And if it, you know, if the drive froze, I would unlock it. And if you give me a utility, oh, so you want a utility to unlock? Yeah. So, okay, if we give you an unlock utility, then you're okay with it? Yeah, I'll just reinstall the OS. Or another end user jumped to the same conclusion as a data center. They would put it into a cache drive configuration and leave their, their bulk storage alone. So what kind of a performance improvement are we potentially looking at here? You've got ASSSD running um, on a regular 520 and then on this prototype, uh, you know, prototype flash, prototype controller, prototype firmware, and prototype utility. What are we looking at here? Um, did you mention this was a prototype drive? I, I think I missed that part. You better clarify it for yeah, the audience. Just, yeah, this is not a production part. No announcement. This is a prototype. Uh, it, what we're really seeing, we, the, the top score was uh, from our 520 series drive. The bottom was just the baseline settings on this prototype. And we're seeing over a 10% performance gain. But more importantly, 
if you take a look at the sequential rights, um, there was a big jump, and that's this this prototype's drive's ability to handle incompressible data is really solid. Um, depending on which controller you're based on, you may not handle incompressible data. You know, high bit rate, um, high definition audio, video, those kinds of things. This drive handles all data equally equally well. So we saw that bump immediately. Then we started overclocking it. Random IOPS, we saw scores go up, um, at least in this little clinic here, 22%. So some of the sequential rights we saw go up 18%. Overall scores, you know, 15, 18, depends. So we're, you know, we didn't, we didn't push it too far. We wanted it to be stable here and get that, you know, that feedback rather than, well, I did it and it bricked, I'm out of here. But, yeah, so far so good. So I want some comments under this video because uh, I think Justin's covered the pros and cons pretty well at this point. Um, two things. Number one is, guys, viewers out there, would you sacrifice the longevity of your SSD to have more performance? Let's say you could get a 20% bump. Let's just throw that random number out there. Would you be willing to sacrifice that? And number two is, I guess, just a, a, more, a more general um, how would you utilize this? Would you be comfortable running your entire system off an overclocked SSD? Would you run your OS off an SSD and have all of your save games and everything on a secondary hard drive? Or would you go with something like a cache solution like the data center guys were saying? So thank you very much, Justin. This has been awesome. Appreciate it. Thanks for uh, coming and checking it out at PAX first. Cool, man. Guys, don't forget we're powered here at the show by Western Digital Intel. Thanks for that, to Intel collectively and SteelSeries. We couldn't have done it without you.